We are at the High Museum of Art in Atlanta and we're looking at the Tarascon Stagecoach by Vincent van Gogh from 1888. And the first thing that I notice when I look at this painting is really the bright colors. Um, you can really see that in the bright yellow walls in the back and also in the strip of sky in the corner. Um, you don't really see that kind of blue anywhere else, do you? Yeah, it's a unique hue of blue and it's very complementary to the yellow on the walls and even all the other colors in this composition. Right, it's very quintessential of that south of France late summer time period and mm. you really see the rest of the colors in the stage coaches and the red and the green and also on the shutter that's closed right now yeah why is it closed I feel like there aren't many people around too right they evoke the time temporal setting of the painting where it's siesta time midday very hot outside everyone has gone inside to take a nap and you can really see the heat coming off of the bright yellow on the walls and you can see it's late in the day by the shadows that are cast by the carriage and even by the ladder right next to it. And we have a very simple and light colored empty foreground contrasted with all the colors going on in the background and also the stagecoaches as well. And I think the way that the stagecoaches are laid out here is very reminiscent of the Monet painting, right? Yes, the painting is actually called Fishing Boats at Etchita, and in this painting there are four boats laid out in a composition as though they are receding into the painting. And in the same way, in Van Gogh's painting, we can see that the stagecoaches are also doing this. Right, mm -hmm. and I think another thing that's really significant of this work is the impasto technique, which is basically just very thick brush strokes, paint laid on very thickly, and it's very reminiscent of the icing on the cake. And I think it's um, inspired by Monticelli. Yeah, Monticelli was a French painter who was before the era of the Impressionists, and Van Gogh really admired him for his style of impasto. Right, and we really see that wide variety of um, thick brush strokes throughout the painting and we see short strokes in the foreground where the sand is mm -hmm. and it's very reminiscent of that rough texture of the sand and also the rough plasters on the wall. As I'm looking into this painting, I see that parts of the canvas are actually left blank. Do you know why that is? Yeah, I think that's very quintessential and very revolutionary of the modernist time period where um, Van Gogh was one of the first people who said, I will leave some parts of the canvas blank. And before, it would have never been accepted by the salons to do that. Mm, and I think it's very similar to Cezanne. And in his painting, Provencal Manor in 1885, he also felt as though the painting was already complete and just left it as it was. Also, in Van Gogh's painting, the stagecoaches seem to be facing each other and in an intimate conversation. I think this is relevant to the many advancements we have in technology during the modernist period, where the stagecoach was replaced by a more effective mode of transportation, such as the train.